Hi there. Welcome back to the show. My next guest is a versatile performer who has appeared in, listen to this versatility, nightclubs, theaters, films, and yes, even on record. Uh, this is his latest album right here. I feel more like I do now. Please welcome the world's foremost authority, Professor Irwin Corey. Uh, professor, come on over. Nice to see you. you have, a, have a seat right there. There you go. Just turn around there. Okay. This will work out just fine. Don't, don't worry about a thing. I feel that the only way that we can develop any continuity is to develop a direction which would make it possible for us to accept whatever our ideology might be. In that course, we can refer only to the origin of our birth. I was born in New York, and being born in New York was being wonderful because, you know, on a clear day, you could see where you live. I know a lot of people don't realize that. They move to Peoria where it's quiet, there's no trains, no buses. It's Excuse really nothing. It's just Excuse nothing. Excuse me. But here, what was the question? I'm sorry. I, they're, they're <laughs> There, there hasn't been a question yet. I, I... That's one of the reasons that people are ill-informed. You've got to ask questions, <laughs> not from those who seem to be in the place of authority, because they are only there due to the graciousness of the poor people who, who vote and don't know what, the, what they're voting for. And that's, what, what the is. that's one of the main reasons. You know, David, you may not realize, but we, we got Grenada. Uh, and Grand Fenwick is next. We're going to show those people that this is the only way we can survive. We've got to be able to do that. Otherwise, we will contribute financially to the organizations that make it possible for us to, to come to these areas. Yeah. I know, I know the fulfillment of our creation is based on the assumption... What was that question? Well, no, no, see, there, there's been no, no official question yet. But that's all right. Now, do, let that's me ask. That's one of the reasons people seem to have lost all direction. They don't ask. You've got to ask to find out when one says, what the, what were you doing? You don't realize that you have subjugated yourself. Right, you've come to very close to that twice now. Now, <laughs> now let me, uh... Well, there was a dog that was following me all on, and, <laughs> and I didn't even have any shirt. I had no shirt. <laughs> uh, I want to ask you about the, the record, uh, Professor. Uh, the, I feel more like I do now, Professor Irwin Corey. How's it doing? You selling a lot of these babies? Oh, yes. I had four albums before this that were complete failures. <laughs> I feel that a failure is better to have in the beginning so that you can go from there someplace else. Because if you fail in the beginning, you can't going to go no further. So I I did it four times, and this is going to, we see, we only have four records left. We printed about 18. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, a friend of mine who works for uh, a law company in uh -huh. New Orleans uh, called the, uh, you know, it was the Pine Mountain Logs, which is really from Mount Sinai Logs because they're very short. The tall ones uh, come from other areas. So you could tell which is the ethnic uh, area that represents the smaller log, because they're, they're cut off. In the... <laughs> I knew, I knew before I arrived here that the essence of my information is calculated to reciprocate only in conjunction with the areas that seem to be arid and desolate, like Santa Fe. I was in Santa Fe. And it was very quiet, 
and we could see Colorado. <laughs> uh, you know, it looked the same like Texas, only it was blue. In Texas, the map is green, and in, in Colorado, it's blue, because they are first on, on the crime rate, and this causes us this distinction. So I feel that even if you do uh, uh, come to any conclusion, it's based on the assumption. Did you wash your hands? As well? oh, oh, there he is. I, I realize, David, that I, I must sometimes uh, attribute my my melu to uh, in the in the sense that people don't know that Grant Fenwick was the place in, in the mouse that roared. Yeah, that's right. And that's why it has such significance. All right, now let me, uh, let's go back to the album, now that we've cleared that up. Uh, uh, what kind of stuff would be on the album there? What kind of material? I don't think we ought to talk about that stuff that's in there, because then people will not be inquisitive. They'll say, oh, I heard it, oh, it's full of, oh, okay, you know, then, right. So I feel that this album will be uh, sometimes considered not in the realm of the efficiency of which it has, but it has a, a feeling of bringing the, the country together. In this album, I found out that if we get rid of Montana, and we get rid of um, North Dakota, and South Dakota, Nebraska, and Atlanta, all these stations, I mean, get rid of that territory and bring the United States closer together. We don't have to go too far to go where we want to be, and it will cost less because then all airlines can go from one place to another without having to go up Good and point. down like that. It makes That's perfect one sense of the to me. Now, um, do you have any uh, upcoming uh, film projects? That oh, I've, I have my film projects that I have come up and then go down. Uh -huh. But I was in a movie once that right after the title, the authors lost interest and the, the thing went right down into the ground and we lost nothing. Now, uh, I've worked on other uh, television stations and they only have one red light. You must be a very affluent network. You've got three lights on one camera and two I ain't working on the other. That's why NBC has to be careful in the future with the amount of money they expend on things which are owned by, owned by the public and therefore trans... <laughs> This is what is known as being on television. <laughs> <laughs> well, I tell you, I tell you, David, David, I, yeah. I, I truly am. I'm going to be in the San Francisco area. I did do a movie with Donald Sutherland and um, Jack Warden, Sean Penn, and a few other people that were in it. What's and the name of the movie? Crackers. It's, it's Crackers. named after a movie called Big Deal on Madonna Street that was done in 1957 by a great Italian director who lost his identity only after he submerged the actors who accepted the money that they were getting. At 6 o'clock, they had to all quit and go back on their jobs. So I, I teach these people how to open up safes. Uh -huh. Now, my credentials... Oh, as in safe crackers. That's it, yeah. safe crackers. I yeah. teach them how to open up safes. Now, I know a million ways how to open a safe. Okay, I tell and you what. I tell let's, them Let's that. save th some of those ways for your next appearance on the show. Okay. okay. Uh, what, it's you a, mean, well, this is it? No, we have to go. We have other things to do here. That's the trouble with this place. They have other Professor things to do, Irwin and they Corey, do this. Ladies and gentlemen. <laughs>